Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Stage. And today, chums, I am back in No Man's Sky. And I'm back on the planet Steampunkia. Yes, I've been doing some base tours of Steampunkia over the last couple of days. And I decided to put down my own base. I was toying with the idea of putting down one of my Steampunk dragons. I didn't put down one of my Steampunk dragons. So what did I do? You're probably wondering, people in the viewerverse. In fact, if you haven't seen me make a Steampunk dragon, though, hit up a video. I'll put a link up there. That's how you can build a Steampunk dragon. No. I went to an archive. I found an archive on this planet. It's not too far away from um, Rich Smith's sort of airbase. It's like about six minutes sort of flight or whatever. It, it, so it's, it's a fair freaking distance. It's a decent enough distance not to sort of interfere with his anyway. But I have built at an archive. Now the nice thing about this colossal archive is it's already got steam ejectors by the legs. Look. Giant steam plumes pummel out of this thing all the freaking time. So I figured it'd be really cool to steampunk it up a bit. So anyway, let me give you a little guided tour. So you head on down here. Now sometimes this guy isn't always open. If he's not open, you may have to put some fuel inside of the biofuel reactor to activate this switch. And then you can close him down like this. It's like a little hidden barman. Yes, it's got a couple of different sort of beers on tap here, people. Lovely guy. He also gives you missions. Sends you out on bounties and things like that. He's a lovely guy. There we go. Let's, let's talk to him. Actually, I don't think he does actually send you on missions. No, he sells you blueprints, people in the view of us. Yes, he does. There you go. You can pretend he, you can pretend he sends you on missions if you want. Do a bit of role play. But there we go. Lovely jubbly. So he's in there. You can chuck some coal in here to activate this that keeps this sort of map printing machine going. Yes, all of this contraption over here powers this. Yeah, steam into electricity, people. Yeah, I know, it's freaking wondrous stuff. The modern invention of steam. There we go. <laughs> and then over here, you've got this little machine as well that's sort of like slightly powered by wind to help generate the steam that is needed. It sucks in cold air, turns it into hot air, turns it into steam and powers this through some sort of steam to electricity thing. So there we go. You can go into there and chuck stuff into this. Pretty darn lovely. Nice. Cool you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. I, I, I only wanted to show people that it works. Bloody heck. Right, heading over here. You've got all these little Viking guys just standing about. There's two travellers here as well, if you want travellers' graves. This guy's slightly shorter for some reason. I don't really know why, but that looks actually pretty darn cool that those are actually different in sizes. Or has he just stepped down a curb? Who knows? Anyway, let's head on over this way. We've got a lovely little chill-out tent right here. And yeah, he talks about all the different expeditions. You can bake yourself some food. And he even talks about the autophages and these corrupted sentinels that he came across on his missions. He's going to chat your freaking ear off, people. So yeah, I wouldn't spend too much time talking to him. I think he's been on the old hookah pipes, but you know, who freaking knows? We've also got a galactic trade terminal over here, all powered by steam. Yes, lovely, lovely steam. A wondrous new invention inside of the galactic Aukaled. Let's head on up to here, because here we've got ourselves a portal. Again, powered by this massive great big contraption. You've got a large refiner there. My base computer's inside of this water tank. But yeah, you can interact with these. If you've got the Atlas past level one, that is. Yes, and get yourself some freebies, because everyone loves a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes. I want another freebie. Give me a freebie. Boom. There we go. And all this lovely steam is keeping these plants lovely humidified and growing quite well. But you can grab a load of plants off of this, chuck it in this biofuel reactor if your portal is not working. Yes, you're going to have to power it by using biofuel. Yes, people inside the universe, I know. Modern technologies! And then heading through here, you can see that the steam is coming through here and into this massive great big area where you can learn some lore from this giant steam-powered contraption that is the heart of the archive. Yeah, let's, let's grab some lore, shall we, people? Let's have a look. Greetings, brother. Knowledge storage forbidden. Yes, well, I would like to open it. Yes, I go for blesses, please. Sweet. Archive access is granted. Decrypt archive. The archive has been subverted, hacked to spread, banned, censored, messages of dissonant region. Okay, distant region, sorry. The Corvax are wounded, broken creatures, believe their death cries are logic. They drown themselves in communion to forget their pain. They shall not help us. The Gek, debased, accused, lacking their prior might, with no honour to replace it, believing nothing will end, 
That grove can go on forever. It has been to the ancients and to those who follow to discover our future. But what have they found but dust? Important grass, no. Deliverance? Tell me, friends, have you heard of the Testament of Nal? I have. Nal and Herc were at each war of each other. Nal was more aligned to the Atlas being a god, actually, which was a little bit blasphemous in the Vikings' eyes. So yeah, Nal and Herc didn't really see eye to eye, because yes, Herc was very much against the old Sentinels and the Atlas. Nal is not dead. They heard what Herc could not. They live still at the right hand of God, the Atlas. They encourage us and show us how, how we care that we will not leave the Atlas light. That devotion will never fade. Only through this oblivion spared. Only through this will we be ready. What a lovely nugget of lore, people. Will you guys get the same if you visit here? Talking of which, I'd better give you the coordinates, better not I? Okay, so if you do want to come here, this is a lovely steampunk planet. If you are good at putting down steampunk inspired bases feel free to come here stick down a base that's steampunk inspired be respectful of other people's bases and put a sensible distance away so it doesn't cause lag or loading issues but there you go there's the actual portal code lovely jubbly so you can come here you can come and visit my base and all that sort of shenanigans and it's nestled by this giant sphere like spire i should say i really like this place it's actually really grown on me this planet it's a beautiful planet it's got a few storms that do roll in every now and again, but they're, they're fairly infrequent. But I'm just loving the fact that it's got all this steam just pummeling out of the bottom of this thing as well. It does look like these archives have come here and landed. The new space stations, people. It kind of makes me think that these are parts of the new space stations that have come down to the planet and actually landed here. Because look, if I go into camera mode, it does look like it's some sort of break-off element of the new sort of um, space stations. I mean, look at all the steam pummeling out the top of it as well, all the smoke and that. It does look very steampunk-esque. I think I got very lucky. But look, these look like landing sort of legs that have sort of deployed and come down and nestled here. Then it looks like all this has sort of unfolded and sort of come out the front of it. I honestly think these are supposed to be breakaway parts from the new space stations and I'm wondering when we get the new space stations in game whether these colossal archives might be sending data up to the actual space stations. There's reason why I say that people. So if you do go over to this machine here it says here local information repository when you hover over the screen. When you go inside of your actual log and you hit on up, uh, where is it? Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Explor Exploration Guild, local information register, okay? Now I'm wondering, because we've got this objective here to scan all this planet, I'm wondering whether we've got to scan all the planets down at the actual planet's level here and come to the Colossal Archive, upload it inside of the local information repository which sends it to the space station and depending on how much you've actually scanned and how much you've actually done perhaps talking to this guy over here is going to give you a decent reward or when you do go to print out a chart we'd get a lot more than just finding a freaking location to a archive site i mean do you think that idea has legs i honestly think it does and I also think if you do this in, a, in an actual system where the space station is broken, doing all the cataloging and working on the planet and going to an archive, we will almost act like the old Utopia mission. And perhaps uploading the data is going to bring the station into working order and bring in space station type B, is what I'm thinking. I, I, I could be going off on one here, people, but that's my thoughts. I hope you like them. But anyway... I'm fairly happy with the actual base I've built here. Let us know inside the comments whether you like it. I think I've done a good job of realising an actual archive into becoming almost steampunk-like. I mean, this looks like a giant water collector, doesn't it, there? I, I, think it, I think it works. I think it works extremely nicely, people. So, yeah, even if you just want to steampunk up a little local settlement or maybe a trading post or something like that, come and help steampunk this planet, people inside the viewerverse. Yeah, I will be going back to the portal, reading out people's comms balls as well. 
And if you do put down bases here, I am planning on doing tours of a couple um, later in the day. So we'll, we'll see what actually happens to this place. But I love the idea of steampunk in a planet. Heck yes, I do. Anyway, I'm going to jump back over to me. So yeah, a lot going on in this video. You've got yourself a lovely base tour. You've got yourself something to do. Because if you want to come and put down a steampunk base, it's pretty fun. And also, there's a little bit of food matter for the old brain there, isn't there? The old grey matter. Do you think colossal archives might be worked into the stations? Do you think there might be reason to explore planets and survey them? And do you think it could be linked to activating abandoned systems and uncharted systems to get them charted, to get them actually activated and bring the universe back to life? Could it be this is the way that we save the Atlas from going in, into its old self-destruct mode? Is this the way that we fend off the 1616 and the corruption from going any further by cataloguing abandoned and uncharted systems, people? Yes, that's a little brain worm, isn't it? Anyway, till next time, people. Salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.